Hey, hey, welcome to the next video. I want to talk to you about keyword research. And just like the niche selection, keyword research is something that people often overlook. And again, I can speak from experience. When I started doing SEO, I skipped this step completely ahead and came to regret it later. Uh, this is because it's something really important that you have to do before you start building your website. And why is this important? Because if you don't know the keywords you're targeting, if you don't know the keywords you're going to try to rank for on your site, it's unthinkable to even start making a site. Makes sense, right? So before you create a site, you only, you only, it only makes sense to know and study and research the keywords you're going to target. And only after you know the keywords you're going to target, you'll create a site with content optimized for those keywords. Now, before we actually get into uh, the actual example, I want to tell you, uh, tell you something that's also important regarding keyword research. So as you can see here, uh, the keyword plastic surgery NYC, so for New York City, has about 880 searches per month. And you'd think, okay, uh, I, I see this keyword, it has a bunch of searches, I'm just going to go after it and just going to try to rank my site for it. What you need to think is that this keyword is extremely competitive. So keywords with more searches are more competitive, obviously. So you will have a ton of people a ton of companies with lots of money trying to rank for these keywords which are ex extremely competitive. So what's smart to do is to go after keywords that have least uh, competition, the le less competition and less searches per month. So say for example plastic surgery of New York City, plastic, plastic surgery in New York City pricing. So you go after a bunch of low-end uh, keywords in terms of searches and if you add them all up, so if you add 90 plus 80 plus 80 plus 70 plus 70 plus 50 plus 50 and so on, these keywords will have more searches than the one you were previously looking at. So basically, instead of going after a keyword that has a bunch of searches, which is highly competitive, go after keywords that are less competitive because they have less searches, but go after more of those. And if you go after a bunch of those less competitive keywords, the searches will start to add up and you'll eventually reach the exact number of that previously competitive keyword, if not more. So what you're doing, so what you're doing here basically is uh, going after several keywords around that main keyword. Okay, but let's look at an example right now. I'm going to use a tool called Uber Suggest. You might know it. It's from Neil Patel. But let's get into it. So this is the tool. It's called Uber Suggest. Just search for it and click it. Uh, and here we are inside of it. Basically. Uh, let's say you are you have already chosen your niche. Let's say we chose plastic surgery, and we chose the city of New York City. What you do is really simple. You just put your keyword in here. Let's say you're targeting the United States. You can choose it here, or if you're targeting Portugal, for example, you can just choose Portugal. Of course, you have to put the Portuguese keyword in. But let's say you're in you're in the United States. Just put your keyword here and select United States. This gives you a bunch of information, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about that. What you care about is this right here, keyword ideas. What this tool does, if you click here, view all keyword ideas, you, it gives you a bunch of keyword ideas you can target. As, we, as you can see, there are like a hundred more. And this is what we'll use for our keyword research. We just, we'll just export it to CSV. No thanks. And let's open it up. So this is exactly what the tool gives you. It gives you a list of hundreds of keywords. If you pay for it, it'll give you more. Uh, but basically, these are all you need. Uh, but it'll give you a list of hundreds of keywords that you can target as well as their search volume. Again, you, there'll, there'll be some keywords here that won't make much sense. So for example, in the plastic surgery niche, you'll find keywords that are directed to uh, some surgeons or or. Um, Clinics, for example, Jaeger Plastic Surgery. I'm not sure what this one, but let me see. Um, uh, uh, for example, Cassir Plastic Surgery. This may be like a doctor or, or a specific clinic. So these ones you just want to just delete them. Um, but basically, basically what you'll do is go go here and figure out the keywords that make sense for you to target. So don't target hospitals. Don't target don't target specific doctors. Just target general keywords, so this one won't, we won't target as well. Just target keywords, for example, um, plus, so, so salary, we are also not interested in salaries, we just want keywords that, for, that people search in order to actually do a plastic surgery. 
So for example, pricing, this one is good. I'm just gonna bold out the ones that are good. So this one is good. New York, plastic surgery, New IC. Mm, this one, not really. We can just delete it. Okay, okay. Oh. Best plastic surgery, New IC, of course. New York, plastic surgery, dermatology, NYC. This one you can delete as well. Prices, this is a good one. This is a good one. So as you can see, basically go around and select the ones you uh, want to target. Again, this is really actually really simple, but it's it's important for you to do. So just don't just build a site and start uh, putting out keywords over there uh, in a way that doesn't make sense. Make a, a research, just go on this tool and take out a list and now you have ideas for your for the content you'll be building. Just a, a quick something, as you can see the search volume on these ones right here says zero. This isn't entirely true, okay? Uh, it just means that they have low search volumes. It's not zero, but it's low. And the thing I was talking to you about uh, before, so this keyword has about 880 searches per month, so plastic surgery NYC, which means it's, it's a, comp a very competitive keyword. But then again, if you target low competitive keywords, if you sum, for example, all this up, it will add up to maybe almost, if not more, than this. So this is the idea here. Don't just target, of course you also target these ones, because we want to go for competitive keywords as well, but also target the least competitive keywords, which uh, will make a huge difference and will give you an advantage over people just trying to rank for this one. Okay, so you're also trying to rank for all these ones that have lower search volumes. Okay, so that being said, this is how we do a keyword research. There's also just one more thing I want to tell you about. Um, if you go here, if you go to Google and just type your main keyword in, if you go all the way to the bottom, Google also gives you some uh, suggestions. So some other keywords people also search for that might not be included here. Okay. So just take that into account. For example, I don't think best plastic surgery NIC was here included. Let me just double check. Yeah, it wasn't. It was. Uh, it was. It had 2018 after it. So make sure you also go to Google and uh, see what other what people are also searching for. Because if Google gives you this information, it means that people are searching for it. And that concludes how you do a keyword research. It's, it's quite just quite simple but it's just a step that most people often overlook and don't do. But it will be important when you're creating the content and when, you're, when we're building the site, it will be important to have a list of keywords that you can just look at, the, look at them and say, okay, so now we're targeting this. Okay, hope this one helped and I'll see you on the next one.